Hello friends, this video on relations and function part 40 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 39. Mind whether the definition is uh, binary or not. The first one is a cross b is equal to a minus b for all positive. So the second one is a cross b is ab for all positive z. Third one is a cross b is ab squared on real numbers. Fourth is for positive z, a cross b is a minus b mod. And the fourth last one is for z plus a cross b is a. So if you take the first one, a cross b is a minus b for all positive z. But it can happen that a minus b is negative. For example, if you take a as 5 and b as 7, 5 minus 7 is equal to minus 2. So output you will get this will not be z plus. Since that will not be true, this will not be a binary operation. Correct. Second one is a cross b is equal to ab. You take any positive uh, numbers, integers, you multiply, you will get positive integer only. So, in that case, this is a valid binary operation. In this case, on real numbers, a cross b is ab square. You take any two real numbers and you say ab square, you will get real number only. So this is also a binary operation. For this one, on z plus positive integers in here. So here a cross b is a minus b mod. Since it is a mod, you take any number you take mod, this gives a positive number. So this will always be positive. This guy is always a positive z. So this guy is always positive z, this will be a binary operation. The last one is a b is equal to a, you take any two positive number and you say a. This is always a positive number. So, this is also true. For each of these binary operations, we have determined whether commutative or associative holds true or not. The first one on Z, A cross B, A minus B. Second one is on Q, A cross B is AB plus 1. On Q, AB is equal to AB by 2. Z plus AB is equal to 2 to the power AB and last is on Z plus A cross B is A to the power B. So for this we have to define whether this commutative or associative. For the first one if you see A minus B, if you flip this, this becomes B minus A. So A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So this is not commutative. The first one is not commutative. For associative also if you see, you say A minus B b minus c this will not be equal to a minus b minus c. this we know so this is not even associative so not commutative not associative the second one if you see on q a cross b is a b plus 1 so if you take a b plus 1 or if you take b a plus 1 both are same right thus we can say that it is commutative Correct because a b plus 1 is equal to b a plus 1. For associative, we have to find whether a b cross c in this is equal to a cross b cross c. So, first let's find a b cross c. So, this becomes a b plus 1 cross c. So, this becomes a b plus 1 into, into c plus 1. And this becomes a b c plus c plus 1. If you find a cross b cross c, this becomes a into b c plus 1, a cross b c plus 1, and this becomes a into b c plus 1 plus 1, and this becomes a b c plus a plus 1. You see both are different. So, what I've done is a cross b is nothing but a b plus 1 cross c, and now this whole is one number and this cross c so this whole number into c plus one that's the definition is you take two numbers multiply this number plus one multiply this number plus one similarly here also b cross c is bc plus one now here you multiply these two numbers a and bc plus one and plus one get this they are not same so we can say that it is not even not associated but it is commuted correct similarly for this you say a b by 2 or b a by 2 all same so it is commutative and also in this case if you see if you find a cross b cross c 
if you say a cross b cross c that will be a cross b c by 2 and this will become a b c by 4 now when you say a cross b then cross c this becomes a b by 2 cross c this becomes a b c by 4 so if you see both are same thus you can say that it is associative also correct next is 2 to the power a b so if you take 2 to the power a b or you take 2 to the power b a all same correct so it is commutative because when you say a cross b that is 2 to the power a b you say b cross a that is 2 to the power b a now if you want to find here a cross b cross c this becomes a into 2 to the power b c a cross b to the power b c that becomes 2 to the power a into 2 to the power b c and if you want to find a cross b cross c this becomes 2 to the power a b cross c that is nothing but 2 to the power 2 to the power a b into c because you take 2 to the power multiply these two 2 to the power multiply these two 2 to the power multiply you see both the numbers are different actually thus we can say that it is not associated similarly for last if you see when you say a cross b is nothing but a to the power b and b cross a is nothing but b to the power a so a cross b is not equal to b to the power a so it is not commutative associative also if you, if you find you will see that it is not even associative if you want I can solve here oh, I don't have space let me solve here so a cross b cross c in this case will be a to the power a cross b to the power c and this will become a to the power b to the power c if you find a cross b whole thing cross c this becomes a to the power b into c and that becomes a to the power b c here it is a to the power b to the power c here it is a to the power b c correct so you see both are not same so it is not even so it's a different kind of problem we have this binary operation on set 1 2 3 4 by defined where a operation b is nothing but minimum of a b we have to write the binary operation table for this to do this what we can do is we have 1 2 3 4 5 defined here and then we have we have this operation defined here and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 defined here correct so let's draw the boxes first let's draw these boxes so once we have these boxes now we can get the operation so for 1 and 1 the minimum is 1 for 1 and 2 the minimum is 1 1 and 3 minimum is 1, 1 and 4 minimum is 1, 1 and 5 minimum is 1. 2 and 1 minimum is 1, 2 and 2 minimum is 2, 2 and 3 minimum is 2, 2 and 4 if you see minimum is 2, 2 and 5 the minimum is 2. Similarly for 3 and 1 minimum is 1, 2 and 3 minimum is 2, 3 and 3 minimum is 3, 3 and 4, 3, 3 and 5, 3. 4 and 1 is 1, 2 and 4 is 2, 3 and 4 is 3. 4 and 4 is 4, 4 and 5 is 4. Similarly, 5, 5 and 1 is 1, 5 and 2 is 2, 5 and 3 is 3, 5 and 4 is 4, 5 and 5 is 5. So, this is my chart. This is my binary operation on set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, where A operation B is nothing but minimum of A and B. A similar question it says that we have the star operation on this set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 where A star B is nothing but LCM of A and B. The question is, is it a binary operation? So let's do this. Let's create 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Let's take the values here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there is a star operation here. Let's draw the lines. 
So when we have this, we have this, we have this. So now we have this grid. So now if you see LCM of 1 and 1 is 1, LCM of 1 and 2 is 2, 1 and 3 is 3, 1 and 4 is 4, 1 and 5 is 5. Simple. 2 and 1 is 2, 2 and 2 is also 2, 2 and 3, least common factor is 6, 2 and 4, least common factor is 4, 2 and 5 is 10. We will not do further. From this only we can see that there are elements like 6 and 10 which are not part of this set. Thus we can say that LCM operation is not a binary operation on this. Why? Because the elements which you are getting here, the output of the LCM of A and B is not part of this set. Since this is not part of this set, we can say that LCM operation is not a binary operation. Let's start be a binary operation of N defined by A star B is nothing but SGF of A and B. We have to find whether it is commutative, whether it is associative and there exists identity for this operation for national. So if you see, you take SC, it is commutative if A star B is equal to B star A. Right? If, if you see, A star B is nothing but SCF of A and B and B star A is nothing but SCF of B and A. So if you take SCF of A and B or SCF of B and A, it's all the same. So it is commute. Similarly for associative, if A star B star C is equal to A star B star C, and this is true, it is associative. So if you take the LHS, it's nothing but SCF of A and B star C, that is SCF of A, B, C. If you take this part, this is nothing but A star HCF of B and C. And then this becomes HCF of A, B and C. Thus you can see that LHS and RHS are same. Thus we can see that A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. So it is associative also. The next is, is there any identity for this binary operation? So for binary op identity to exist, there should be a number called E that should be part of N where A cross E is equal to E cross A and that should be equal to A. For, this should be for all A is the member of N and E is also the member of N. But you know that there is no such number exists which is national number for which SCF of A and that number is equal to SCF of 1 and that number. So we can say that it does not have identity. Correct? So what we have done? We have found A cross B and we found that A cross B is equal to A star B is equal to B star A and thus it is commutative. Then we found A star B star C is equal to A star B star C that is it is associative also. But we found that there is no identity for this relationship. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.